In the previous video, I have shown you how to create AI generated images from prompts directly inside of Airtable using OpenAI DALI image generation model and make.com. In this video, I will show you how you can create variations of any image using OpenAI DALI and make.com. Let's get going. Hi, this is Greg and you're watching Business Automated. In the previous episode, I have showed you this table and how you can create images from prompts. In this episode, I will show you how you can create variations of the same image from image using OpenAI, from a single image. So let's pick one of the images over here. So let's select the, let's copy paste the Mount Fuji images. You can see here that first field is the input images we can have only one image so i'll just delete the second image we're using only one image here then the second field here the second attachment column is variations this is where we will send the variations of the original image and next one is the number of images that we would like to generate it can be either one or it can be up to 10 based on the documentation from OpenAI, which you can find under openai.com. And here you can see I'm setting a status for that particular row. When we change it to generate, this will show up inside of the generate images view, which we're using later inside of our make.com automation. All right. Now let's move over to scenario in make.com. If you have not used make.com, you can find a link to it in the description below. This scenario is fairly straightforward. So we are starting with the first module, which is called search records. And we are looking only within the create variation table and within the generate images view. So this is the view that contains images to create variations from. Okay. Then the next step is a HTTP download file module when we are downloading the file from inside of the attachment field. So the field called input image, so the one over here, we are using URL and we are downloading this file inside of make.com. What is important, make sure that you turn on the advanced settings and evaluate all states as error. So in case there is any error, you will see this as error inside of make.com. Similar here, on this module, I'm also evaluating all states except 200, 300 as error. And what we are using here is a URL called v1 images slash variations, which is the URL that will give us variation of a specific image. Now, as a method, we will select the post method. We are using here the authorization header with a better token. The token you can get once you log in into your OpenAI account and you can generate this on the OpenAI account API keys page. So you can go to the settings and generate this under API keys. All right. So this is where you would put your API key. And now the next step as a type of data, we are selecting here as a body type, we're selecting multi-part form data. And we will have two types of fields in here. The first type will be file. So here you can select file. The key will be image and we will automatically have the file mapped from the previous module. So we're using get file. And then one more field that is needed here is the N, which is the number of variations that we want to generate. In this case, we are generating the number of variations that is coming from Airtable. You can also set it at a fixed number, four, five, up to 10. And finally, we are generating size and we are using the biggest size that is available. Okay. So all other things here remain, remain unchanged. And once we receive response from that module, we want to update the original record inside of Airtable. So we are using the record ID of the first step. And here inside of the variations, we will use what is being what is being returned from the last HTTP module. So inside of data, make sure that you open this and you take this array here, data, which contains the URL. And 
final thing, we are changing the status to done so that it uh, is visible on Airtable. Okay, so let's run this module once and let's see what is the result. So you can see now the data has been sent to AI. It takes a couple of seconds to process. And you can see that we have gotten three different variations of the same image. Let's try with another image. Remember, we just need only one image to create a variation. And let's have two variations of each. And let's run the model one more time. And you can see that we are getting very similar images to the original image that we have used. All right. Let me know, guys, in the comments, what do you think this is useful for and how do you see you could use this in the business, whether you can use it for content, whether you can use it for social media. Yeah, interested to know your thoughts. Good luck automating your stuff. Bye.